Hi, my name is Hannah Holling and I'm a peer mentor at Equip. How often do you look in the mirror and feel bad about what's reflected back? Or see a photograph of yourself and immediately start picking apart the flaws? If the answer is often, you're not alone. Up to 75% of people worldwide experience body dissatisfaction. But just because body image struggles are common, it doesn't mean you have to accept them. Let's get into the basics of body image and how it relates to eating disorders and how you can improve your relationship with your body. So what exactly is body image? Body image is a lot of different things. It's a mental picture you have of your physical appearance and what you think and feel about your body. It's also how you experience being in your body and how your perception of your body shapes your actions. Body image can be positive, neutral, or negative, and it can vary from day to day. For some people, body image doesn't take up too much space in their brain. No matter how they might feel about their body, it's just not that important to them. But for others, body dissatisfaction can become all-consuming, occupying every corner of your mind and making it hard to stay present. Negative body image isn't a personal failing. It's a predictable consequence of living in a society that tells us only certain bodies are valuable and that we should all try to make our bodies look that way. Negative body image can have serious consequences. It can do harm to self-esteem, mood, social and occupational functioning, and overall health. It also increases the risk of developing an eating disorder. Speaking of eating disorders, it's important to understand that while eating disorders and negative body image are often connected, Many people who struggle with body image do not have eating disorders, and some people with eating disorders don't struggle with body image. In particular, people with Avoidant Restrictive Food Intake Disorder, or ARFID, body image distress is not a factor in the eating disorder. That said, the majority of people with eating disorders do experience body distress, and it's important to address this in the recovery process. Research shows that strengthening body image can protect patients against relapse and strengthen other aspects of treatment making it a crucial step for lasting recovery. At Equip, we take a personalized approach to body image issues, using a variety of different evidence-based modalities to help patients overcome body-related challenges. You don't need to be an eating disorder treatment to improve your body image. There are a lot of things you can do right now to begin to reframe how you think about your body. Write down things you value about yourself that have nothing to do with your body. Engage in activities that bring you joy that aren't related to bodies or eating. When you have a negative thought about yourself, try to look at it with curiosity, rather than believing it right away. Notice the different messages society tells you about which bodies are valuable, and ask yourself, who profits if I believe that? If you want more structured support in improving your body image, Equip offers a free, self-guided body image program called Explore Freeform. It's developed by clinical experts, takes just 30 minutes, and is a great jumping off point for further body image work. Whether or not you're dealing with an eating disorder, it can be an empowering first step towards improving your relationship with your body.